In this video, I am going to tell you how this speaker works. Okay, you have seen this in your toys and um, other gadgets. So here I have opened this up. You see, there is a thin, very thin membrane. Okay, then there is some some wire here. Okay, that's a wire which is coiled, and you see these two ends coming out. Okay, I hope it's visible. So these two threads are coming out and then you have a coil of wire which is stuck to this uh, plastic sheet. Okay, and then this entire thing is mounted on here. Now let's see what this object is. So here I have a magnetic compass and as you can see, when I bring it closer, it, it's attracting it, okay? It's a magnetic uh, object. You see here, it holds. So this is magnetic. The middle part is also magnetic. So all you have is a magnet here, then a piece of wire here. And that's all, there's nothing else. So it goes on here. And then when you supply some electricity, it will create sound. But right now the circuit is broken because these wires, these two thin wires are not attached here. So let me tell you how it works and it's extremely easy to understand how it works. So this wire that you see here, I replace by this wire here. Okay, same thing, there's no difference. It's just, it's very thin, it's thick. Okay, now let's see what I can do with this. So here are the two ends of this thick wire. I put a magnet, uh, sorry, a magnetic compass. That's a magnet, it's correct. Okay. Let me make it stop by putting it here. Okay, I'll, still doesn't stop. <laughs> now what I'll do is, I'll pass current through this wire, okay? This long wire is coiled several times, a lot of times. And I'll pass current through this. Okay, first check whether moving this around does not affect this magnetic needle, right? Because this is copper wire, okay? So it doesn't do anything, okay? It doesn't change anything. Now I'll pass current through this and let's see what happens. Okay. Probably this is discharged. It is discharging, yes. Oh dear. Reverse is discharged. Okay, you see it's doing something now. Okay. So when I pass current, this magnetic compass is, um, I think it will be better if I don't do it here, if I put it this way, because right now, it is in the north-south direction and that's why it's not so easy to see. Now let's see. Yeah, now it's clear. You see, this is in north-south direction right now. Okay, and now when I pass current, the needle deflects. Okay, now that's a clear proof. So what did we learn? We learned that we learn that when I pass current through this wire, okay, and it goes several times, right, going like this and keep going like this, it produces a magnetic field around this, or simply it, this becomes a magnet, okay, this is like behaving like a magnet. That's what happens when you pass current through a long coil of wire, um, a long wire. So now let's get back to this. Here you have a magnet which is a permanent magnet, okay? And then you have this long coil of wire here. When you pass current through this, this will become a magnet, okay? Now here, this becomes a magnet when this current passes through this. There is already a magnet sitting here, a permanent magnet. What will that magnet do to this magnet? It will either push or pull, depending on which direction the current is going, okay? So if it is sitting like this, the moment you put a current, this coil will be pushed up. 
but this membrane this plastic is fixed here right it's fixed here so the magnet the coil which becomes a magnet now this coil will be pushed up when the moment is it, it is pushed up okay this membrane will push the air around this and that will vibrate and go to your ears and it will produce a sound and of course if you keep the wire connected to a battery it will push it up but then it push it pushes it up and it stops there right it's it keeps pushing it up so it stays there and there will be no sound because for sound it needs to move up and down so only when you connect it it will move up and it produces sound and then stops okay or if you keep interchanging these two then it will uh, again produce sound so this one i have destroyed now let me just show you here that indeed you can produce and i i hope that this captures the sound so okay you see i'll now touch again and just keep touching so that we understand whether it will okay now it is touching all the time it doesn't produce sound but if when i remove it should but now suppose you could change the current now suppose you could change the current with time instead of using a dc battery then you can create music okay um let me try with this once let me put receiver close to it and see whether you get a better sound here so you understand this speaker is same as this speaker and these two things are just this and i should have brought a permanent magnet if you keep a permanent magnet here attach it to a plastic sheet and pass current through this that's what a speaker is so i hope you understood how to make a speaker or at least how a speaker works